Okay, welcome back to the channel. The new video today is all about tricky words. Now, if you are a teacher and you want to learn how to teach tricky words, go to my other video about tricky words. I'll put a link in the description below. But this is a lesson on tricky words today. Now, there are lots of tricky words. Tricky words are words that are trying to trick you. They want you to read the wrong thing. But we're too clever for that. Tricky words. You can't trick me. Shall we have a look at the first few? Now, luckily, they've been put into groups for us. All right? There are six groups of about 12 in each. So it's about 72 tricky words. They're the most common. Now, there's a lot of them. There's lots and lots. But don't worry. Let's go through this real slow. Today, we're going to look at our first four tricky words. Okay? Now, let's have a look at this. This is our first word. It's a capital. It's not the letter L. It's not l, l, l. It's I, I, I. The letter is I. That's the name of the letter. The sound of that letter is I, I, I. Like in the word pin. P, I, N. However, in a sentence, that doesn't make sense. I, I. Hmm. If I say, I am hot doesn't sound right. I am a teacher. I am on YouTube. That's wrong, isn't it? The word is I. When you see it written alone as a capital, you say, I am hot. hot. Okay, that's good. Let's look at our second tricky word. Now, let's have a think. The word is the. How many sounds in that? Th, uh, th, uh, th, uh, th. Two sounds. Okay, so we've got two sounds. Which sound is tricky? Which sound is not tricky? For example, th, uh, th, th. Yeah, that sounds right. TH. The hard TH or for the soft. That's correct. That's not tricky. And then that, that's the sound eh, eh. Eh, eggs in a pan. Wait a minute. So if I read z, e, z, z, does that sound right? It's not right, is it? The word is the, uh, uh. That means that this is the tricky part of the word. This is normal, z, and this is not e, eh, it's uh, z. So we don't read the cat is big. We read the at is b big big. The cat is big. Good job. Let's look at all tricky word number three for today. The word is he. Let's count that out. E. E he. Yeah, there's two sounds. Okay, so we're at an e. Which part's tricky? Which part's not tricky? Let's check. E. That's right. I like to hop, hop, hop. Now that's e, eh, he. But it doesn't say he. Eh, it says e. That's the same long e as in e. Oh, isn't it? So it's not he. Eh, it's he. There's the correct part. And there's the tricky part. Let's put that in a sentence. Can you try for me? He eh, is Happy. Oh, that's wrong. It's not he. It's he. Let's try again. He is. He is happy. He happy. Now, do you remember from our video before? Why? As the E sound. That's in alternative spellings. You can look at that. He is happy. Good job. Now, the last tricky word for today. The word is she. Let's count that out using our skills. Sh, e, sh, e, she. So we're hearing two sounds. Sh and e. Which part's tricky? Well, let's check. Sh, sh, sh. That's right. Sh, sh. Eh, sh. No, that's right. That's not right. Sh. I didn't say sh, did I? I said sh, e. That's doing the e sound again. So in this word, 
That's the tricky part again. Let's put that in a sentence. He is hot. She is hot. There you go. You're going to have to practice reading them, spelling them, writing them, putting them in sentences. And slowly, slowly, we'll work through the rest of our tricky words together. Well done. Bye-bye.